Good morning. Welcome to a Theme Park Mark vlog here. I'm here at the Imperial War Museum in Duxford. Very wet and windy day. I'm out the front here. I've just got my tickets. Happy New Year. First vlog of the year for me. January 2022. Wet, windy day, like I say. Right. Let's get inside. Come with me as we have a good wander and walk around. And see what's here at this uniquely historic military airfield. Operational from the First World War to the Cold World. Cold World War, the Cold War, nearly World War, the Cold War. Right, let's see inside. Yes, there's a big sign, it's windy, windy, and they get inside the first hangar. Oh, yeah, yeah, I came over for that one, yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's have a look in here. Don't know what's going to be, you're almost certain something yes, will. That's right, yeah. But because there's no crowd. Well, we start with Spitfire. Yeah. <laughs> the Hurricane Expedition. Wow. So, they've informed me all of these are in operational condition. This Spitfire right here, for example, the first one we see when we come in, flew in D-Day. Hawker. I knew that because it's head on the floor. <laughs> the maids in looking plain, isn't it? Don't make them like that anymore. Can you see the sights over here? Look. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Where are they? Just in there, look. you see your sights? Now we're in the gun mounted on there, look. Gunner sat in the back seat. Pretty exposed. I have a lot of headroom there, do you? Oh, I'm glad I ain't got to do nothing like that. Shell of a hawk behind here. Yeah, you can pause if you want a little read. I'll do that a lot for the information for you. I'll Tell you when to pause so you can have a little read if you want to. I shall stop and read. Not everything. The Victor. The size of this. Let's get around here, get a better angle. The nose, look. I 
no wingspan. That's huge. Hanley Page Victor. And pause. This is the only one of this aircraft of its type left in the world. Wow, yes, yeah, in for the next room. This is impressive. <laughs> Just to get them all in here for one. Let's have a look what we got. So we've got the jump jet up there. Harrier. The world's first fixed wing vertical takeoff airplane. An engine to one there. Not sure what that is. Come this way and you can discover with me. Now oh, we have a Jaguar there. Oh, no we don't. Where? Oh, above us, up here. Look at that. British and French collaboration. Just a tornado, I think. We got another Marcus Command. Up here, we got a Royal Navy helicopter. Oh, I know what this is. Wow, this is impressive. This is the Vulcan bomber. Harry Brown strategic nuclear weapons in the 50s, that's mad. I was lucky enough to have seen one of these fly. The noise it makes is tremendous. YouTube and have a little look if you haven't heard one yourself. It's unbelievable. Milton Hall Air Show when I was a kid. Wow, so this is the hole. Look. That's where it carried its nuclear bomb. The size of that. <laughs> you can pre book appearances look, future dates to climb aboard. The Vulcan's cockpit. Been experience. How's that? Like I said, I'm interested in planes. I'm interested in everything. I'm not a big fanatic. However, this is impressive, is it not? Like I say, the logistics of getting everything in here is hats taken off too. I think we can go and get on board Concord. We'll do that shortly. <laughs> Which you don't say every day, do you? that the amount of glass windows exposed Is that a Lancaster bomber? Just gonna have a look, I think it is. Uh, first payload would have been. Yeah, 
Okay, so Lancaster bomber, all right, the most successful British heavy bomber used for the Air Force. Wow, if you're, if you're into planes, it's the place to come in the UK. I've never been here, it's a first visit for me. So discovering as I go round. I haven't done much research, I haven't watched any vlogs, I don't know what's it. I knew there was planes here, but I don't know what. So if you don't either, discover with me. A swordfish. No mistake, it's a tiger moth. We come round, we've got a couple of school children in here. It's nice and quiet though, which is good. because, Like I say, it's a cold, wet, windy day. So that's all different engines and So on and so forth. Surface to air weapons. Got a couple of Tommy guns on a seat. I don't have to look what that is, I ain't got a clue. It's got a big belly, is it for landing on water? I'm guessing. Let's go around and have a look, shall we? It's big. Yeah, it hasn't got any wheels, so it's not taking off on the uh, ground, is it? It is a Sunderland long range flying boat. Well, there you go, I don't think I've ever seen one of them. Bizarre looking aeroplane slash boat. Let's come around and. Oh, we've been this bit, let's have a look over here. Rolls Royce Pegasus. Got some stairs here, now we're gonna have a look in the cockpit of a tornado. Well, that looks comfortable. Hmm. Wow. Doesn't look as glamorous as you think, does it? Reflections coming off. You can see the control panel there. Look. Hmm. Well, I never. A good view from up here as well. Of the copious amount of airplanes strapped to the ceiling. A lightning down there fastest climbing jet of all time back in the day. Altitude gaining by climbing, that's what I meant. Go and have a look.
Yeah, the design of this nose cone here allowed it to do it. I had a bit of a fascination on this plane as a kid. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? Massive helicopters in here. This would be a Wessex. Yeah. Anti submarine helicopter. Oh, never. Nineteen sixties drone. <laughs> oh, never. get to go inside a uh, British Overseas Airways Royal Airmail plane. Wow. This is cool, isn't it? Remember your trolley, look. That's something that's gone backwards, isn't it? I'd love that in today's age. Imagine that coming around on your iron air. Grapes, uh, apples, croissant, martini. <laughs> That'd be great. Then follows the starting engines. Check until... Ready to start, sir. Right up. But I can't do anything to start one. Okay, sir, ready by one. One by one. Each of the Comet's four Rolls-Royce Aden engines are started. Right, engineer, going one. Start about one. Yes. A lot of switches. <laughs> right, round by two. Hi, Dana. That was good. I like being inside that comment. Get a better view of is that the Jaguar or the Lightning? No, Lightning. Jaguar in there. Jaguar here. And that jump jet there. Harrier. Alright. Let's see what else we've got, shall we? Right, that's board Concord. Something I'd love to have done back in the day. And then wings. Still not really matched this today. Not much headroom, I'm pretty short and um
Well, I don't know what I was expecting, but a bit more, <laughs> if I'm honest. Don't get me wrong, an amazing feat of engineering, but I thought inside would be a bit more luxury. Yeah, so that's Concord. Something I never got to do back in the day. So that's quite cool. <coughs> See what else we can find, shall we? Yeah, so inside something else now. You can get in more plans than I thought. So Hermes, I believe. Well, we're in the Hermes, yeah. It's unreliable with frequent engine failures. Proved to be underpowered for high altitude flight. Well, this plane had a short service life then. Turned into a museum, look. Yeah, the, the posh seats. And then you had the cattle class. This is where I'll be sitting, by the way. You don't get out now, ladies, do you? Let's have a look in the airborne assault. Wow. Space paratroopers. Captured weapons here, and the power of the court. That bling looking gun there was taken from one of Saddam's many places during the Iraq campaign. Bazooka up there, taken from the Germans in the Second World War. There's many different things here. Weapons of death. So, let me give you an example number 23 here. We'll find it here. A light anti-tank. This was used extensively in the Gulf Wars between 91 and 2003. So you got a number and an explanation with each one there. Number 20 here. A three-inch mortar and bomb. Well roid look. One shotgun. Bolt action. Yeah, 
lovely little dedicated section to the powers. It's vast, Duxford. Give yourself a lot of time if you come here. Well, I think we're done in here. There is a playground. Not very popular today, but I've got to show you. But also I also want to point out they've got a selection of planes and a unused runway here. Look at that, they've got steps and stairs going to them. I think you can gain access in the summertime. Monarch Airlines, I flew with Monarch back in the day. Not sure what they are, passenger jets. You can have a walk around them, I believe, only in the summer. It's very wet and windy today, as you can probably hear, so I won't be filming long out here. That's what I wanted to show you. So yeah, let's go and have a little look around at the Aero Sea Museum. Some privately owned aeroplanes. It's one of the museum's collections. Most of the planes and aircraft seem to get sides of them. It's a very quiet day today. The weather's done me a favour. Like I say, I'll hold the camera here. Anybody who wants to have a read, just have a little pause. And the old Spitfire here. Different variant there, smaller version. Wow, look at this. Oh, to Haviland. First World War bomber. I mean, honestly, imagine going up in that in this day and age <laughs> and getting shot at just to boot. Well, some brave men and women back in the day. At the Fairy Gannet. I've never seen one of them. I won't hover over the writing too long, but if you want to read, you can. A sea king here has his own story, this one. Served in the Salklands. Oh, it was sunk. A huge helicopter, I didn't realise how big they were. Massive. Royal Saudi Air Force. Oh, sorry, that poor camera work there. I'm literally the only person inside this whole hangar. Just billions of pounds worth of airplanes. You're a fighter typhoon. Most expensive planes ever made. Well, it was when it was made. It's a current plane now. So what we have over here, a one-man submarine, wow, look at that, it's quite scary, a one-man submarine, four and a half inch quick fire in the field howitzer, over the back there, German Fritz guided bomb down the bottom there, some lovely devices, look at this machine, look at that, it's unbelievable. Single seat gyro kite. <laughs> These were the Germans. Submarines. 
<laughs> no, it takes. It takes some courage to get me to fly that. Another field gun here. Remains of the battle sector of a British midget submarine sunk during an attack on a German battleship. The folded up wings of a, a de Havilland, is it? Yeah, Sea Vixen. Bus, of course. Oh, Bill. No, I called it. That's what it says. So that Yips and the Somme right up on there, look. Old Bill written on the top, that's his name. Or her name. The most successful Japanese fighter aircraft of the Second World War. The cockpit section. Looking at the bullet holes and things, I don't think this one was very successful. HMS Endurance. The Wasp. Serving the Falklands War also. See, these planes and they could talk, tell you their stories, it'd be mad, wouldn't it? Is this a Hurricane or a Spitfire? I always confuse the two. I think it's a submarine Spitfire, yeah. Hurricanes are slightly smaller, aren't they? Simulator here, just out in the middle of the road here. It's closed for today, unfortunately. I'm guessing it's a Spitfire. Seems like saying, unfortunately, I would have done it. You know, I would have done. I'm guessing it's a Spitfire one. Any idea of price? It's a fiver. Dynamic motion simulator experience, really. Like one from 1996. But I would have given it a go. Best shit today, unfortunately. So if anyone comes in summer, let me know. Yeah, it's a vast place. Be prepared for a lot of walking. That's the the main big hangar at the buck top there, right in front of me where Concord is. And if I turn around here, over that dome building there will be the American Air Museum. I've got a separate vlog for that. And even further beyond that, you have the Land and Land Warfare Museum, I think. And I think I may even do a separate vlog for that because they're both vast buildings. This vlog would be about three hours long if I did them all in one. So. Yeah, I'm going to have a little look in the gift shop, but I think that's about it. Yeah, there's a little calf, the armoury. I had me a little pot of tea, portion of chips, and a um, pastry. It cost me like eight quid, so, you know, not cheap, but about what you'd expect to pay at those sort of places. Yeah, nice chips, though. Very, very true. Yeah. There's some good merch here. And the Blackbird has his own range. <laughs> I like the desktop Vulcan.
Yeah, it's quite busy in here. It's the busiest I've seen anywhere, actually, the gift shop. Battle of Britain t-shirt up here, look. Quite cool. It's our t-shirt, it's our curiosity. What are we talking? £22. Well, that's too expensive. <laughs> Simple as that. That's not even close to being competitive. What we've we got for these American Airline, American Air Museum print t-shirts. Yeah, 25 quid. 25 quid. I might be purchasing a t-shirt, I'll put it that way. <coughs> I would have done as well. If you watch any of my vlogs, you know I like a t-shirt. Right. Well, thank you for joining me. That concludes our trip here to Duxford. We've got lots planned up coming up in the future, so I'll see you again on the next vlog on the channel. Bye.